All right, so I tried to make this video about, I wanna say nine times now. I think this is uh, number 10, probably. I'm not sure. Anyways, I, I don't like uh, WWE 2K20. I don't hate it either. It's kind of a really neutral feeling where I just don't, I just don't have the energy to play it and enjoy it anymore. And it's also to a point where I'm trying to edit the videos for the game and upload it to YouTube. And I don't even feel like editing a lot of the stuff. I kind of just want to skip to the main stuff and then just be done making it so I can focus on Fallout and FWF and all that. Just get this out of the way. It's just, it's just not, it's not good. And I think everybody knows that. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. I'm pretty sure everyone has general consensus on the fact that the game is, isn't up to par. Isn't as good as it could be. And you can tell just by thinking about a few things. First, let's think about what this game is in general and how it got to here. So this game on paper was supposed to be an updated version of WWE 2K19. But it couldn't be that because Ukes had left at the time. So right when you hear that, when you hear Ukes left, I think a lot of people that have played all the other WWE games, and I'm not even talking about WWE 2K, I'm talking about even before that, like, you know, I think others have too, like me, have played uh, Just Bring It, Just Bring It to SmackDown versus Raw, uh, all that stuff, the Here Comes the Pain, No Mercy, uh, or like even the freaking WCW wrestling game. Like people who have played those and all that, then you get to this, um, you get through all the WWE 2K stuff and 2019 or 2K19 really felt like the, the pinnacle. It felt like, all right, after this, the next one should be really good. And then you play it. And then you play it, man. Um, I can't blame it on 2K. There are some things that you can arguably say, okay, 2K, why did you do this? Why didn't you add this to the game? But now it's like, I don't even care if they didn't add GM mode because they need to fix the rest of the game in general, you know? Like, I don't even care that certain things that aren't in here because it's just like the game itself. The game, 2K20 is a pizza, all right? Let's say every year, this is like uh, a pizza food chain or whatever, like they make pizza, okay, that's their thing. So 2K14, their pizza was delicious, but they wanted to do something different. So we're all like, all right, well, all right, I guess you'll do something different. 2K15 comes out, it's like, you know what, man? This wasn't bad, but damn, 2K14 was really good. So if you could like go back to that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just go back to that. 2K16, they get further and further away from 2K14. And it's like, I mean, it was better than 2K15, but uh, you, you, you could do better. And then 2K17 is like, are you not listening to me? What the fuck is going on, dude? Like, this isn't even good. I don't even want to. I don't even know if I want to keep playing this. And you get 2K18, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting 2K19. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't like, I don't like this. This is so lame. And then you get to 19 and you're like, oh, you know what? I was wrong. This necessarily, this wasn't necessarily bad. There's just a few improvements here and there that you could have made. But other than that, man, this is a pretty good pizza. Then you get to 2K20. And then the bread is fine. It's tolerable. The bread is the graphic. The sauce, the flow of the gameplay, gameplay is terrible. The cheese is uncooked and the toppings are great. The toppings being the features, the cheese being um, the gameplay itself and the uh, sauce being the flow of the gameplay. How do I separate the sauce and the cheese, right? How do you separate those two? So when I talk about the uh, sauce of the game, I'm talking about the flow of the gameplay. It's slow, the hitboxes suck, it's just, it's just annoying. Changing the controls was stupid, it added nothing. I saw the interview with Chris Stinker and a couple guys who work at 2K, and when you're watching that video, you can see in their eyes, you can look at them as they're talking, and you can tell something is off. You can tell that they wanna promote this game because it's their job to do that. But the problem with them in this interview is it seems like they know something is wrong with the game and they can't say what it is, but they know something is wrong, right? So that was my impression at least. So then you finally, you finally get to play uh, 2K, 2K20. And it's just like, dude, this is fucking 
boring, bro. Like, so let's talk about uh, the cheese here. What can you do in the game? So you have all the matches that you had in Dota 2K19. Um, then you have these new areas that you can go to backstage and all that. I feel like all of the new arenas, backstage stuff, is just skins. It doesn't add anything to the gameplay. It's just skins. It's like skins on the gun in the shooting game. Like, if you earn those skins by like doing some stuff and you have to grind it out to get them or whatever, I guess in the shooting game it's more satisfying. In this game though, it's more so that you just do the story mode or whatever, and that's how you get the uh, the new areas. But the new areas don't matter. They don't seem to really add anything versus, I'm fighting on a movie set, guys. What can you do on this? Well, you can hit it with a tripod. Okay, what else can you do? Uh, equipment box. Well, you can do that on the other areas, and that tripod's kind of like a reskin of a kendo stick. Yeah, but, um, and you're like, no, 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 but. That's just, this is, this is pretty lame. And you're like, okay, well, um, 2K Originals, um, this is different, right? I mean, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. Like, I guess they needed more time, right? And they had no choice, apparently. They couldn't have delayed this game because they have a contract and they have to release the game by a certain time. So it's like, dude, this sucks. It's like, damn. Like, this is rough. This is really rough. And apparently they changed the controls, by the way. Um, now, so... I have a theory, Chris Dinker has a theory, um, I think Pulse even has a theory, but I can't remember his, um, but on the Deadlock podcast, check it out if you haven't checked it out, um, one of the guys who used to work for 2K, was, and he's also in game development, he was suggesting that, hey, maybe on the PS5, um, or the next, you know, next generation of consoles, the, the game is going to be different. And it's going to have this set of controls and that's why we have these controls now to prepare you for that new game whenever that comes out and it's going to take longer for it to come out the new game because it's going to be on a new generation of console right so they have to work around the uh the console the new console that's coming out so okay that makes sense if that is the case that makes sense but if it's not here's what i think i think they did that to add longevity to the game Chris Danker thinks that um, they did this to add something new to the game. It needed to be different from the last game. And I guess technically we're saying the same thing. But regardless, when, I, when I'm talking about longevity, what am I saying when I talk about longevity? So I'm thinking they wanted us to play this for a bit longer so that when they update the game and they fix or they try to fix as much as they can, it'll be playable and it won't really matter, you know, all the stuff that sucked at launch or whatever won't really matter anymore because now the game is uh, fixed and now you figured out the controls and everything is you know dandy and all that but for me I'm one of the people who like don't like to have to work to like enjoy a game does that make sense like if I have to learn a game okay but if I'm trying to enjoy a game after I've already learned it after I've already figured it out I don't want it to, to feel like I'm only doing it so that I play longer. I wanna do it because it's fun, right? I don't even know if that made sense, but I really hope it did, okay? I don't wanna do it because I have to relearn it. I wanna do it because it's fun, because it's a video game. And it didn't feel fun. And switching back to WWE 2K19, after I played WWE 2K20 for about a week, I did not miss WWE 2K20. Actually, every time I opened the game to play it, I don't even really feel like playing it. I feel like playing Dirty 2K19 because it's better. It just is. Some people were saying that if you, uh, initially, people were saying that uh, if you like Dirty 2K19, you'll love Dirty 2K20. Not the case now. If you like Dirty 2K19, you're not gonna like Dirty 2K20, let me tell you that. Uh, anyways, I guess now I should probably talk about universe mode and my career mode and all the, the features, the toppings, right? So I said the toppings taste good. So having all these, you know, options is a good thing. But when it, when it at its core is repetitive, it's not necessarily fun anymore, right? So let's think about this. I, it's hard to compare a wrestling game to another game. So maybe this won't even make sense. All right, this probably isn't a fair compar comparison. I don't like the Call of Duty games, but I'm going to compare it to those. So hear me out. Or Battlefield. I'm fine with Battlefield. Let's, let's use Battlefield. So 
in Battlefield, you have Conquest, you have Team Deathmatch, you have um, Deathmatch, you have um, Capture the Flag, or no, no, Capture like this area or whatever, you know what I mean? And all those are in the same game. The gameplay is still the same, yet somehow it feels different. You have to play it in a different way, right? You have to adjust. In this game, you have towers, you have my career mode, you have uh, showcase mode, universe mode, play mode, 2K stories, mode, mode, mode. Anyways, they all sound they all sound different, but they're all relatively the same. The difference in my career and universe mode is that there's way more cutscenes in my career. And with there being a lot of cutscenes, yes, there's a story to be told, but some of the cutscenes are unnecessarily long and there are too many loading screens, which makes it a bit unfun. With the universe mode, it's like, okay, last year's game, we had three rivalries, now we have four, all right? Last year's game, we had two major shows on a pay-per-view, now we have three, all right? Now we, <laughs> that's basically how I felt reading off what was in the game. It's just like, okay, this is a new feature. Do I care? I don't know, let's find out. And then you actually get to play and it's like, wow, I didn't care. This didn't matter. Like, I I can play Dirty 2K19 and have those three rivalries and be fine. Would I rather have four? Sure. But I have to use, or I can only do uh, four if I play Dirty 2K20. And I don't want to play Dirty 2K20, so I don't care. It's not worth the sacrifice. So then you have, or no, it's worth sacrificing that to just have fun. And then you have my career mode. In last year's game, it felt like there was something missing. I guess, I guess what I'm what I'm missing out here fundamentally is that Ukes, I guess, was not. It's confusing. I'm getting mixed signals here. So it's like, were they involved in making this game, or were they not involved in making this game? Is what I'm trying to understand. And from what I'm to understand, the way they talked about it in the interview and the way people talk about it in general, Ukes was not involved in this game. So technically. With Yuke's being gone, I guess it's why everything is the way that it is. But the story mode was had nothing to do with Yuke's. So I can say in the My Career mode, that definitely was disappointing. Alright? It wasn't bad. If they would have just focused on wrestling, it would have been fine. If they would have focused on them going to an academy to train. If they would have focused on them having to, you know, work their way up to finally being good enough to be in WWE. Okay. They added a plot point with Trey that I'm not going to spoil for people who have not played the game, right? And with that freaking s plot point, it's so, so unnecessary. It just makes you dislike the characters involved. Him being super cringy, like, it makes sense because he's kind of a geek. That's why he can't seem to, you know, do, do the stuff that you would expect from him. Okay, so it's, it's supposed to be character development for him. Why is Red a complete, like, kind of like a really bad friend? And it's, I say kind of because on one hand, the whole thing could have been fixed if she would have just talked to him. And they could have sorted it out after some time. But she just wouldn't do it. And it was so annoying. And it was like certain stuff that they would build to and they would put it on the list. And you're like, oh, okay, we're going to do that. And then you get to it and it's like, oh, this is lame. I'm just going to put it like this because we saw it in the trailer. Okay? We saw it in the trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. The My Mickey James stuff was cool. The Undertaker stuff was okay. The, um, the long term standing rivalry that you have is interesting specifically because the heel is so dislikable and it's a good thing. Um, the indie stuff was cool. I wish they would have, you know. I wish there weren't there weren't so many loading screens though. The when you get to WWE, it's all just kind of it all gets better, but not better. Uh, how do I say it? If I compare everything to itself, certain points were better than others. But if I take everything and compare it to other games, it's not that good. I think that I think that's where I can leave it at with my career mode. Showcase mode. There's too many objectives. I just want to play the matches, and if there's a certain spot you want me to do, I'll do it, sure. And then Lisa cutscene, okay. But there's too many, 
and it's like I don't I don't want to do this dude I just want to enjoy the game and have fun why can't I just do that like the Stone Cold Steve Austin one was perfect or the uh, CM Punk and John Cena or Triple H and Shawn Michaels one those were good okay but this one was just it was just lame it was just lame and I guess you just kind of have to just take it and just be like okay whatever you know just it, it's not that good all right deal with it but the problem is I don't want to deal with it because I want to play a wrestling game a new wrestling game that's functional that's fun that you know I, I can just enjoy it and have fun I didn't want to I don't want to pay sixty dollars eighty dollars ninety dollars deluxe edition or whatever just to play a game that's abysmal and they didn't have a choice of when they release it and it just sucks. It just sucks. It just sucks. It sucks. So, FWF is going to happen to WWE 2K19 until further notice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to skip through everything. I probably am going to skip through a lot of stuff for the career mode because I just want to be done recording it so I can play things that, I, that are fun to me. Other than that, if you have questions, ask me in the comments. But I'm done talking for now.